friends, uh, this today Bible today, friends, in Second Chronicles, chapter five. When all the work Solomon had done for the temple of the Lord has finished, he brought in the things his father David had dedicated, the silver and gold, and all the furnishings, and he placed them in the treasuries of God's temple. The ark brought to the temple. Then Solomon summoned to Jerusalem the elders of Israel, all the heads of the tribes and the chiefs of the Israelite families to bring up the ark of the Lord's covenant from the Zion, the city of David. And all the men of Israel came together to the king at the time of the festival in the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the Levites took up the ark, and they brought up the ark on the tent of meeting and all the sacred furnishings in it. The priests who were Levites carried him up, and King Solomon and the entire assembly of Israel that that had gathered about him were before the ark, sacrificing so many sheep and cattle that they could not be recorded or counted. The priest then brought the ark of the Lord's covenant to its place in the inner sanctuary of the temple, the most holy place, and, the, and put it beneath the wings of the cherubim. The cherubim spread their wings over the place of the ark and covered the ark and its carrying poles. These poles were so long that they that their ends extending from the ark could be seen from could be seen in would be seen from in front of the inner sanctuary but not from outside the holy place and they all still there today there was nothing in the ark except the two tablets that Moses had placed in it at Horeb where the Lord made a covenant with the Israelites after they came out of Egypt the priest then withdrew from the holy place all the priests who were there had consecrated themselves regardless of their divisions. All the Levites who were musicians and relatives stood on the east side of the altar, dressed in fine linen and playing cymbals, harps and lyres. They were accompanied by 120 priests sounding trumpets. The trumpeters and singers joined in union, as with one voice to give praise and thanks to the Lord, accompanied by thrum trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments. They raised their voices in praise to the Lord and sung, He is good, His love endures forever. Then the temple of the Lord was filled with, with a cloud, and the priests could not perform their service because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the temple of God. So here, friends, in Second Chronicles chapter 5, is about um, the temple of the Lord. So the people... Um, it was a time of King Solomon, and they really um, gave importance to in building the temple of the Lord and putting what David uh, had and Moses, all their um, uh, their the re, the remembrance that Moses and David bought in the temp they bought it in the temple of the of the Lord, and they they all sacrifice and pray for and prayed there and they really gave importance and all has its own functions and roles in the temple so for us in these days um we um in in our church we have different um um roles in in a church you can be singers leaders members whatever you need to be to give give that importance to what church should belong make sure that your church are true churches are true because there are some false prophets um, in this world that will deceive you and will bring you to Satan and also um, you, you need to really um, give a respect deep respect to the temple of the Lord which is the church you have right now and even it reflects on, on, on also to yourselves you are a temple of God so enjoy your roles in your churches, friends. You can be a members, leaders, or seniors, whatever it is. Give give importance to it and really um continue until you die worshiping the Lord our God in heaven, Lord Jesus Christ and Father God. Enjoy your service in the church in the church you have right now, because it is the will of God that Lord the Lord will be happy. Continue to worship God forever in your life thank you so much for reading with me the bible um take care god bless you and your family